Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, it's been a long, long time since I've done an update. I have been extremely busy. Um, things are starting to lean out a little bit and it looks like I'll start getting a little more time and hopefully be able to spend some of that time uh, in the shop. I know with the holidays coming up, uh, I do have a few projects. Like for example, I had a little time off last weekend and I spent it cleaning up the other garage, getting ready for, for the holidays. And that explains the state of my shop because a few things got shoved in here and now I got to find something to do with them. Uh, what I'm going to do today is really just kind of get my shop in order. I do have a couple of packages over here that I want to open, uh, do a mail call here in a few minutes. And uh, as I'm cleaning, I, I never finish cleaning. I always find a project and I always end up uh, getting off track and working on something else. So I'm sure that's going to happen and I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'd like to take a few minutes now and kind of go over what has come in the mail recently. Uh, a few of these items, I'll go through those first, I bought for myself things that I need around the shop and the rest of them came from, from you guys and I just want to open them on camera and, and, and be sure to tell you guys thank you. First item is something I picked up myself. A few of you guys, if you're musically inclined, might recognize this. Take a close look. It's sandwich. It's black, white, black. This is called pick guard and normally it would be cut into a nice design. It would be on the bottom of a guitar as people would play. It keeps you from, you know, scratching up your guitar. This stuff, a buddy of mine in my club told me about it, is incredible for segmenting because you've got the contrast of the black, white, black. And it just, it makes a really, you'll see when I do some pins coming up here, it makes a really cool effect uh, in the separation of your segments. So be on the lookout for that one. A little while back, I started a project where I was going to try to turn uh, a, an acrylic style rod into a pen that takes a cross refill. And I hope to get back on that project soon, but the idea was to use more common taps and dies that are a little more accessible. Some of the taps and dies in bespoke pen turning can be super expensive. Uh, and as I started turning some threads, using one of my dies to turn some threads onto the end of that rod, I noticed it was chewing the heck out of the rod. Turns out I'd bought a set of used taps and dies and the die, the one quarter 20 die was just garbage. So I've since bought a new one quarter 20 die and a new one quarter 20 tap so I can get back to that project next opportunity. I recently bought this little gem. This is a machinist center square. Uh, there's the company that uh, Tay Tools that made it and I got it off of eBay and it's cool because you can take a square blank, drop it in there and you can very easily find the center of it. It also works fantastic for round blanks. Uh, like I said, I found it on eBay, Tay Tools, Machinist Centering Square. I recently got a bandsaw from Lynn Lacey and I've lost one of these little knobs. So I bought a two pack off eBay. And what it is, they hold this little rail onto the front of the bandsaw. And this is what the fence connects to and slides back and forth. So you can lock it down and make nice straight cuts. Speaking of Lynn Lacey, he recently sent me a really nice little letter in the mail. And inside that letter, he included a little surprise. Take a look at those. They're one and a quarter inch in diameter and they contain my logo. He made them on his laser engraver. And what I can do is drill a hole in the end of a project, glue these right in and identify that project as something that I made. So these are awesome. Thank you, Lynn. They're going to get used. Check out this package that Ray Gonzalez sent me. It contains two pieces of Osage orange, or as we like to call it up here in the Midwest, hedge apple. This stuff is great. Farmers used to plant this along fence rows as a windbreak. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but the dust from Osage Orange will glow under black light. It's pretty cool wood. It's got a nice orange yellow color to it. It's going to make some gorgeous pens. Ray, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Good buddy of mine, Daryl Dice, sent me this little package and I cut it open, but I haven't looked inside yet. Oh, wow. Check this out. Is that cool? It says white marble. And the letter that came with the blank says, Bob, thanks for all the tips and advice on the various questions I have asked you. You're a great teacher, mentor to Turners worldwide. We all await your YouTube return. You said you never had a chance to turn a true stone blank, so I thought I would find a nice one and send it to you as a thank you gift. Thank you, Daryl Dice. Daryl, thank you so much. Guys, just take a look at this blank one more time. It's true, I've never turned a true stone, so I'm gonna do a little research and then we'll see what we can turn this one into. Thank you again, I really appreciate it. I did find one more item that I bought for myself. It had fallen to the back of the, the back of the pile there. And what it is, it is a label sizing jig. I purchased this from Fred Wisson over at P-Town Subby. And uh, what this does is you can take any type of a, a, a printout that you make on your, on your color printer. 
You can lay this over it. It's clear so you can see through it. You can perfectly center the item that you want to put on your pin, cut it out with a razor blade, and it will fit right onto a Sierra tube. Uh, he has these for all different size pins. So I'm hoping to use this. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, and once I settle down a little bit, get back in the shop on a more regular basis, I'd like to get back into casting and make a few label casts of my own. This last box comes to me from David Barnett. Um, I have no idea what's in it. I've gone ahead and cut the tape. So let's take a quick peek. Oh, wow. Check this out. I do remember now. David told me he was sending this. Take a look at this. He made a clock for me to hang in my shop. David, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, that took a little longer than I expected, but you know, it has been a while since I've done a mail call. And I just want to say to everyone who sent me something today and to anyone who's ever sent me anything in the past, thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. It warms my heart. It, you know how it is. You're, you're like a kid at Christmas. It's always exciting to get a package and not know what's in it and rip it open. And it's just, it's just a really great feeling. And I truly do appreciate it. I've got to get back to cleaning because... <laughs> I've got a wreck to take care of here, but uh, if I get off topic and get onto something else, which I'm sure I will, uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Well, I knew cleaning wouldn't last long. I'd run into something I wanted to do, and uh, it finally hit me. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while. I am not going to be filming this one, uh, and I really hope my wife doesn't watch these vlogs, but uh, I've decided to work on an intarsia, a small intarsia for her, uh, and I'll, I've just been getting some stuff together. Got a few different type of woods. I've got some pink dogwood. I've got some red heart, some aspen, a couple different thicknesses of aspen, a little bit of uh, yellow heart, and a little bit of walnut. And I've started, I've got my pattern. I went ahead and took care of that. And I've started cutting out the pieces. Uh, and I'm going to basically, in the past, when I've done an intarsia, I've cut everything out at one time and then tried to put it together. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to start with these two pieces. They're right in the center of the intarsia. I'll get them taken care of, get them shaped, get them put together, and then I'll build onto it one piece at a time. Uh, that way um, I can not only use the pattern for cutting, but I can also use, you know, in case I've sanded a little deep or left it a little thick, I can also use my other pieces to get this to fit nice. So I'm just going to work on that. Periodically I'll show you guys updates. But like I said, I'm not going to do a video on it. Uh, I do have some visitors. In the, I do have some visitors in the shop today. Uh, you may have heard them a minute ago rummaging around. Let me uh, flip you around and give you a shot. There they are, Nyla and Noel. They're just out here goofing around, having a good old time. <laughs> well, guys, I've been working to fine tune. I've got uh, two, four, six, seven pieces cut out. And I'm just trying to fine tune them to work together before I cut any more pieces. Um, it's going really well, really well. I'm happy, very happy with where I'm at. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. Uh, I got to take a break. I promised my daughter she wanted me to pick her up from school today uh, since I was off work. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, I may be back out later tonight. Not sure. If not, I'll have some stuff for you tomorrow because I'll get out and work on this. But let me show you what I've got. This is the basic couple of pieces. I've still got some fine tuning. You can see like right there, the pieces don't match up real well. Uh, but it's just a matter of just kind of sanding and, and working them down to where they to where they start to work together And it's hard to do when they're all loose like this because any little touch and you knock them around But looking pretty good. I think I hope you like what I've done so far uh, I may be back. I may not I don't know but if not, thanks for hanging out with me Well, I made it back out in the garage and I got a little more done I've still got to take the pattern off of these pieces and then get them shaped But it's really starting to come together. I think it's gonna turn out really nice so don't say anything to my wife. We'll keep this a secret because uh, I don't think she uh, watches the, these uh, updates. Uh, I hope she doesn't watch them. Otherwise, it's going to really spoil Christmas, right? Uh, <laughs> but we'll keep chipping away at this a little bit at a time. And hopefully, uh, I'll get her done here before long. And it'll make a nice little uh, Christmas gift. So that's all I got for today, guys. Take it easy. And uh, we'll see you again real soon.